What's going on everybody? Welcome back to LYH Studio. Today we're taking a look at how to make these two super clean, super contemporary, super easy designs. Let's get started. You guys remember from the last video we were at 4.1% subscribed. This time we're at 4.4. That's a huge improvement and let's get that to five. Okay everybody, we're gonna start by creating our page layout first. So. We're gonna start with the standard eight and a half by 11 page in portrait orientation. It's gonna be facing pages. I'm gonna create four uh, pages, which is two spreads. I'm gonna make it start on two just because we don't really need a title page. Um, now the important thing here is the margins. We want the margins of these contemporary magazines and contemporary layouts to be very big because we want white space. We want everything to breathe. I'm gonna set it at a high 0.75 Feel free to go higher or lower, depending on what you're trying to do, but I just find this to be a very nice sweet spot. Okay, we're gonna first start by adding an anchor image to the left. Now, this is image of your choice. You can put anything you want here, and I'm just gonna drag it across, but I'm not gonna fill up the entire margin. I'm still gonna leave some white space on the outside, and it's gonna look something like this. Now, if I preview this, that looks good. Uh, on, left, on the left side here, we're gonna create some text. Now. With text, there are a couple of rules that we want to keep in mind for this video and this video in particular. The first one is justification. Do we want the text to be on the left or on the right justified? For example, if we're doing a branding or marketing thing for a company, for example, if they have something like create spectacles, um, and then uh, another sentence could be breaking boundaries. Again, these are just examples. Um, we want to figure out if all of these texts that we're trying to do is going to be center justified, right justified, left justified, or a combination of everything. In this example, we're just going to do left justified. Second thing is capitalization. So we have all caps for some things, and then later on you'll see that I will choose to use lowercase for all the body text. Now, you can either use something like that, you can use all capital letters, all lowercase letter, or a combination of both. For this example, we're using either all capital letters or all lowercase letters. The third thing is punctuation. So you notice that I put a, a period at the end of each one of these. Now this is completely up to you. If you think that your magazine or your article will look a lot better without these periods, that's great. Sometimes I also like to add things like a plus sign in front of everything. But again, this is up to you. For this example, we're just going to put periods and uh, other punctuations at the end of sentences. These three rules are super important. You wanna make sure that you stay consistent. Now, for these guys, I'm going to go ahead and change these to a font and I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Great, now I'm going to play around with this so that I have both of these guys in here and they're not creating any weird hyphenations. That looks pretty good. So um, we kind of see that these two are running into each other a little bit. So I'm gonna make that a little bit uh, adjusted there and then just fit it into the frame once again. Now, now that that page is good, we're gonna move on to the second page. Uh, here, I just want to basically start something new on the top. Maybe this is an about us page. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just write about us. now. Notice that uh, on this side, I'm not going to use any capitalizations and I'm still going to punctuate at the end, but it's going to be all lowercase. And this one, we're gonna use a different font from what we have here, just because this is more of a body text. So I'm gonna use Futura, and since this is a subheading, I'm gonna make this bold. And also, maybe I'll increase the size to something like an 18. Great, then I like to put a picture frame here uh, maybe this is a picture of my team or something similar, um, but just having a picture here will help you transition into the body of text that you're about to put later. So I'm going to go ahead and fit this, pretend this is my very elite looking uh, team. Um, but yes, this is something that we want as a transition or a buffer between the text that we're putting out here and our title. So on the bottom here, we're going to use two columns of text. Now, if you guys need, go up to layouts and then create guides. And what you can do is just make two columns. And if you have the preview on, it'll turn on for you. You can simply click okay, it'll make those guides for you. And then you can drag your text boxes here. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it with some placeholder text, change it to the font that I have used for the, for the subheading here, which is Sophia, and make sure that these are light. I feel like this is very important for any type of modern magazines or contemporary magazines. You want the text to fade back and not overpower anything on the page. So I want these to be light. Now on the bottom here, I want this to match basically what we have going on on the other page, uh, just so these two are at the same spot on the bottom. Um, that looks pretty good. And we're gonna copy this over to the right as well. Well, maybe we won't, maybe we'll start a new one just because that looks way too uniform. Um, but I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter and you guys will see why in a second. And again, we're changing this to our Futura, sorry, not Futura, Sophia Pro Light. Great, so that is our two body text. And what's really going to thread this page together, and this is a little bit of a, of a hack for anybody that, that uh, would like to know, is I like to create just a, basically a frame here, and we're really going to just anchor it with a signature. This is a generic signature I found online, uh, but this could be your signature uh, or anything that you think would fit here. But if I use preview, you can see that this already make this page look a lot more rich than if it didn't have the signature. Great, getting started on the two other spreads. We're gonna start off by going on the left page. Uh, maybe this is a why us page, why choose us. Um, I'm gonna copy that subtitle here uh, and I'm just gonna change the text. So why us, question mark. Um, and here on this page, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, we are going to make a rectangle and we're going to full bleed this and it's going to basically bleed also into the next page and you're going to want to aim for around halfway across the page um, laterally. So it's going to look something like that. We're not going to fill it with any color yet. Uh, now I'm going to fill in a picture here that's going to almost fill the entire page. Again, we want to give ample amount of white space so that these images can breathe. And we're gonna start everything with this one image. So uh, choose the image that you wanna put in here. And again, choosing images and having images that are the same color scheme is going to make or break your document. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit the content there. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is actually pick a color in here. We're gonna use the color theme tool. So if I have something like this, I can just pick that and great. It's going to be a complementary color to what we have here. Now, that looks pretty good. We're going to copy this uh, on this side, and then maybe it's going to be something different, but for this example, I'm going to be using the same exact quote here. So breaking boundaries, and how I'm going to thread these two pages together is not only by that element that goes across two pages, but also something like this that kind of blends the two pictures together so that they read as one cohesive piece. Now, on this side, we want to basically get something, maybe like a quote going here, uh, but just make sure we have ample white space to do that with. So how we're gonna do that is I'm gonna, just gonna copy this and all I'm gonna do is, for example, write something like bring value to your design with our method methodology, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Put a period at the end because it's one of our rules. Drag that out. And we're gonna wanna make this something a little bit bigger. So 36, similar to what we have with this font here, but it's going to be using the exact same font as our subtitle, uh, as well as our body text. So I'm gonna play around with this so that everything makes sense. Something like that looks good. Center it on the page and that already looks really good. On the bottom here, what I'm gonna do is drag this over uh, because I kinda want an image here as well, just to showcase a little bit more of what we do, maybe in this firm. Um, and it's gonna kind of mimic the space between the, the break in the page to where the rectangle ends. And I'm going to drag another box, uh, a frame here. Just make sure that that looks good like that. And then I'm gonna drop uh, an image in. So for example, if I want something here like this, great. And then what we're gonna do is populate this with some more body text. So subtitle, um, and we're gonna make this actually go to the front because it's in the back right now. And the shortcut key is control shift and then brackets, I'll put it on the screen. 
Uh, and then here we want, you know, maybe it's something like proven results. Great. And then we also want a body text. So we can simply copy that over from here. Great. So there we go, something like that. Uh, and then we can move this over a little bit. Uh, maybe just put in the indent so that it looks a little bit better. And yeah, there we go. If you also want to add something like a little element here that uh, really anchors this text down, maybe you can do something like this, right? It's a nice gray, uh, adjust the color so that it works. But something like this could prove really helpful if you want to add a little bit more elements to the page, but not overpower it. So I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit. And yeah, that looks good. So on the right side, we're gonna finish this page off with um, another subtitle on the top. Maybe this is just our name here. And then I'm gonna break the rule a little bit and make this right justified. And on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and have another subtitle. Perhaps this is the contact uh, us page, right? Or something similar. And then again, we're fitting the text in here. So this is going to be a lot smaller. Um, we select everything and then make sure again, you have an ample amount of white space. So I like to put a little hyphen there uh, just to give it a little bit more space. And then for example, if we're in San Francisco, And after you've done that, we basically have our layout. So if you remember our rules of leaving plenty of white space and making the text consistent, I think you'll do a great job on something like this and apply the same principles to other uh, contemporary designs. But that's it, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you have learned anything new, please do like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.